Insta Pour la politique à gaz What is up guys, it's iBivens9 here today and uh, we're going to be looking at a piece of software that uh, is kind of unique. It's like uh, VMware ThinApp or XN, I think that's how you pronounce it, Zen, X-E-N, whatever it is. Uh, it's essentially a piece of software that allows you to virtualize applications on a host computer. So what we have right here is we have uh, the installer, I believe, let me just make sure this is what I'm thinking. Yeah, 7-Zip. We have 7-Zip 9.20, which is a piece of open source hardware, or software, rather, that is used to, uh, it's like an archive manager. And we have Cameo. <coughs> now, as you note, 7-Zip requires administrative privileges to run. Cameo does not require, uh, or, yeah, Cameo does not require administrative privileges to run and it will create applications that do not require administrative privileges to run in most instances for use on in environments where that's not applicable where you don't have administrative administrative permissions so what we're gonna go ahead and do just uh, for s the sake of it is uninstall 7-zip uh, just so it's not on this computer and we're gonna run Cameo and capture an installation. And this Cameo does have a full uh, interface, which I'll show you in a second after it's done doing what it's doing. Right now, it's taking the initial system snapshot, and it's copying all the important system files and program files and things that compose your version of Windows. And it's doing this just to ensure that it can make a um, that it can determine the difference between the system without the software on it and the system with the software on it so it knows what files that are installed to copy over to its little uh... In its little package that it makes if you will as the name of this application specific is the cameo packager it packages applications for use on uh, like you could you could take this application that you're making right now and you could put it on your on a network share and then run it from a network share and it run theoretically it run completely fine now some quick notes on this software and as this is not only limited to uh, cameo but VMware ThinApp, XN, and every other the portable apps uh, NCIS in SIS whatever it is that that portable app packager the thing about that is that they cannot emulate DLLs and drivers well I mean you can emulate DLLs as long and they as long as they're not drivers the thing cannot emulate drivers. So say you want to use Cameo, VMware, ThinApp, uh, XN, etc. to make a portable version of VMware uh, Workstation. Assuming you could get it to work, you would not have networking net, inter network interface support because uh, you, the portable application can't install the needed network drivers on the system because then it's not truly portable. Now, you can make a version that will install the drivers if you know what you're doing, but it's not truly portable because it requires changes to be made to the system that require UAC, um, or UAC to be activated. Uh, okay, so now it says right here, install the software you wish to package. When the installation is done, click install done. If installation requires reboot, simply reboot. This so the Cameo will launch, relaunch itself or you may have to relaunch it in some cases when you reboot if you if your installation needs reboot but fortunately for us this uh, 7 zip does not require you to reboot as far as I know and it's only 3.3 .3 megs so the install or the package is not going to be very big it, I believe there's a 64 bit version of this this is a 64 bit OS if you wanted to install the 64 bit version there's some performance difference it's I mean it it, it can as long as you're getting the 64 bit version of Cameo oh, oh ring then it should uh, emulate 64-bit applications in a 64-bit environment perfectly. Okay, just to confirm that 7-Zip is working, let's go ahead and open up 7-Zip. Yep. Um, hey, wake up. Let's see. Yeah, you'd have to reboot it in order to get the little 7-Zip extract icon, I think. I don't know. 
Yeah, but this, this is good enough for our purposes. We just need the uh, manager. And that will take its post-installation snapshot. Okay, so after a small little delay, because the package is not that big, uh, the file is done. And package was successfully created in documents underscore cameo apps. Hey, wake up. And that by itself... And that by itself uh, is enough, and we don't have to edit the package, but I will show you what the edited package looks like in a second. Uh, it's under documents, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is in this version. There we go. It's documents. Cameo apps. 7zip.cameo. That's the location it creates. And because this application has multiple things inside of it. It copied all the executables on the computer that it installed. We can have it open this one by default. Instead of the help, unless for some reason you need the help. And boom, there's your 7-zip that can extract um, files. I don't know that there's any zip files on this computer or RAR files to extract, but yes, it can extract and it will. Let's go ahead and make some uh, changes edit the package just for the sake of editing it. Let's go ahead and open that. You can do disk, ro disk mode or RAM mode. Disk mode is uh, probably better for this sort of stuff. Just only see if has isolated full access. Uh, for something like zip, probably full access would probably be the best. You can change the application ID and icon, etc. Add files to it. Add registry keys so that it sim uh, simulates. Recreate searches as virtual out of virtual layers windows. You can do some integration stuff, which is essentially even more VM stuff. You can pack password protect it. You can make a trial version or exp expiration date. For big applications, you might want to have it save the uh, package information as a dot dat. Uh, you can make it or not make it display Cameo's logo. Up to you. You can add some custom events and triggers for those that uh, know what they're doing. Uh, you can do some fun stuff with those and integrate your own VB script stuff and batch files and simple executables and even advanced programs if you wanted. You can change the startup display menu. You can add files within the executable to the startup menu or you can add, you know, a readme file, etc. Or you can have it make a specific command like it like bypass this menu and run something just run one thing while maintaining everything else in there. Just some fun little features if you choose to do so. Uh, and yeah, and it all bundles it in a nice little uh, file, one little executable. And just to confirm, just show you that it's 100% independent, I'll uninstall 7-zip from my computer. And run some zip, and boom, a fully functional. I just just so I can show you what this will do. Uh, it's not the right folder. It's users. New. Never been very good at navigating this layout. I will add that file, <laughs> the installer, and I'll format it as a some funky. Let's do a tar. Yeah, that's. Blast from the past. I haven't dealt with TARS in a while. Uh, compression, add and replace, compress. Yeah, I'll do it. And it should just make me a TAR file. Yep, right there. Dot TAR. And. Say you want to make 7 zip portable, open those TAR files. Boom! Problem solved. Now TAR files are openable by default from 7-zip. Now you can extract, just to show you that you can extract, extract, yes. And there's your thing. Of course this will not work with all files. I tried unsuccessfully to make a cameo version of Microsoft Office and if you look, I believe it crashes. Yeah, it won't open. Uh, it's it's just too big for it to handle. 
uh, or there's some registry key, or I believe actually Microsoft prevents its software from being run in a virtual machine layer, if you will. So, I mean, I've seen versions of it, Cameo, but none of them work particularly well. I'll just stick to 2003 on a network share if I need it. But for most applications, this works, and it's free. It's a free alternative. They make a professional enterprise and educational version for those of you who fit that niche or niche. I'm not certain on that pronunciation. Uh, but yeah, I would highly recommend this software. It will really speed things up for you if you're an IT pro that needs to uh, distribute some software over network. Uh, the free version is great for small developers and personal use. Uh, and the cool thing about the online version, if you open up the interface and log in as a enterprise user or educational user, you can, using the studio, you can capture an application online. And if uh, I had a network driver installed on this computer properly, uh, it would show me a page that uh, would allow me to just give it the uh, give the program online, the installer of the file, that the the program installer. And as long as it's a you know a silent installer, uh, like when you're compiling your application, make sure you just make a silent MSI or EXE installer. You can tell it whether it needs .NET, uh, and and it will install the application to one of its virtual servers online, make the application virtual, and then provide you with a virtualized, ready-to-go .cameo.exe uh, cameo application for distri uh, distribution. It's a really awesome application. I would highly recommend checking it out and using it for whatever use you may have for it. Uh, it's a great application. I, it has certainly proven to be an alternative to uh, VMware ThinApp because not only is ThinApp insanely expensive, but I it requires UAC for one thing, and it cannot be run like. Whereas, I had to install ThinApp on my computer, and it requires UAC every time. You literally just download this one file from Cameo's website. The actual Cameoed application is Cameoed. It's a it's it's just it's it's a beautifully ironic thing, but yeah, this is Adams Nine uh, signing off.